This service, uh, with this service is provide an RD data file and uh, metadata over each data set and the statistics and uh, the Spark endpoints. And currently it includes uh, 21 RDF, RDF datasets and uh, three datasets uh, will be appear so. And now it uh, includes uh, 46 billion toilets. And compared uh, with uh, the last year, the size of uh, the toilets are uh, more than doubled. Okay, so, and uh, uh, in this slide, I, I, I like to introduce uh, uh, the DBCLS guidelines for RDF Bison data bases. And uh, NBDC and DBCLS uh, have compiled uh, guidelines uh, which aims at enhancing database interoperability. Uh, and uh, the important feature of this RDF portal is uh, all data sets uh, included in this service uh, are uh, required to comply with uh, these guidelines. Um, in this slide, uh, I'd like to show uh, a guideline. And this guideline uh, is for how to refer external resources. And when uh, linking to ex external resources, uh, uh, developers should use uh, this, these properties and uh, these URIs. And uh, basically, uh, uh, we ask developer to use uh, the RDF SC also property and the identifiers org identifiers dot org URIs, and but uh, for some exceptional case, mm -hmm. and if uh, that RDF datasets uh, provided by the officially uh, database providers, uh, such case uh, we ask the developer to use the canonical URI. And uh, to refer uh, PubMed references, uh, uh, we ask to use the DigiTerms references properties and uh, the canonical URIs provided by uh, NCBI. And when uh, referring to uh, image files, uh, we ask the developers to use a HOAF depicts properties. <laughs> I that shows uh, why uh, we uh, uh, one of the reasons uh, uh, the such guideline we need. So in this slide, we, I show the six different URIs of PubMed articles and actually uh, used in the RDF datasets submitted to the RDF portals. Uh, in this way, so such uh, same resources, uh, same resource, resource uh, may be referenced from different URIs. But these uh, you are different URIs uh, refer to same resource. But in RDF, these URI are considered as different resources. So these kind of oh, this kind of problems can be solved uh, some ex to some extent by conforming to the, our guidelines. And by comply complying with such guidelines, uh, uh, we we can uh, we can write Spark queries uh, easily. Uh, so uh, that's that's it. <laughs> Thank you.